So this is the entrance to the Infernal Sanctuary. We made it! It's too soon to celebrate. We have to be ready for anything once we open the gate. We've got Pirico's newly awakened demonic bow, Zenryo Yoichi. Suisen's demonic axe, Zenchi Kintoki. Master Higan's demonic spear, Banji Tadakatsu. C4's demonic gun, Hichu Ryoma. Yayasu's demonic staff, Tokugawa Tenge. And my demonic sword, Kanzan Musashi. And Dao, who's just as strong as any of the seven founding weapons. Is everyone ready? Let's throw everything we've got at it! We'll smash it to pieces! Yeah! Final episode. The Seven Infernal Treasure Wielders! A path has appeared! The Infernal Sanctuary must be beyond here! I sense a soul more powerful than any I've ever detected before. We need to be careful. Hey, Al. If you're scared, you can always hold on a handsome old me. You wanna die before the fight even starts? I'm not being sleazy, she's your daughter, bro! Probability that Yayasu will change his mind if she ends up becoming a beauty in the future? 100%. <laughs> I'll just kill you now. Come on, Fuji! I'm sorry, okay? I'll never talk to her again! <laughs> You and your friends always look like you're having so much fun, Dad. Ow! She's used up all of her powers. But it's okay, Fuji. Her soul is still intact. <laughs> oh, sorry, Dad. You don't have to apologize. Just leave the rest to us. Don't push yourself to- <laughs> You sure have a soft spot for her, Fuji. Not even coughing up blood is enough to deter you from doting on her. Shut up! I got a lot of blood, okay? Maybe a little anemia will do me good. <laughs> We've been through a lot, but it's only deepened our bonds. You know what they say, what doesn't kill you makes you longer. So close. You mean what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, we are going to stop Opener's execution, aren't we? Perhaps it's time we head into the Sanctuary. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute! Filthy intruders! Looks like your luck has run out. Now that I've found you, you won't proceed any further! Jeez, you just don't know when to quit. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson? <laughs> I focused on strengthening my defenses. You won't defeat me this time. There's only one thing on my mind. No matter how many people try, I won't let anyone pass. That just means you don't think for yourself. I'll keep fighting you until you get it through your thick skull. Damn it! How did my super steel armor break after I added all those extra layers? Hmm, maybe I should try adding some fluorocarbonate. You idiot. You really don't learn. That's not true! I haven't overlooked anything this time! I sent a notice to all 13 magistrates asking for backup just now. He really did. Even I received his text. I will flag it as spam. Oh, sorry, Suisen. Anyways, that means an army will now descend on the Infernal Sanctuary. <laughs> when it comes to defense, it all boils down to the difference in military might. I'm sorry to say it's your loss. 
That's not true. Unity's vital for defense. Who'd come to back you up, doofus? What? Woohoo! Party Asu, you're here! I'm glad you got my back. You got it, cuz. Leave it to us. <laughs> How dare you! Traitors! My dude, I've betrayed closer people to me than my co-worker. Hearing you call me a traitor doesn't mean squat. I wonder how much backup you're gonna get. The 13 magistrates were wiped out by Ayasu and his pals. They're basically nothing now. Oh? I'm liking where this is going. So, Ayasu, it'll take me some time. But I've decided to start over with you guys. I'll catch up with you later. So go ahead and stop Opener's execution. Thanks! You're on fire, cuz! We're definitely in enemy territory. Grunts. As far as the eye can see. Ha! Take that! Don't you have anyone worth my while? Normally, I could smash these minis all on my own. Hey, Al, no fighting! Your powers haven't been completely restored. Leave it to us. We'll swap them in one fell swoop. Sorry to keep you waiting. Everyone's favorite idol is here. The Shogun Spotlight belongs to me! Sakura! And Yayaka! Long time no see! Tarnation C4! We're going all in for y'all to win! We ain't gonna let it end here! We'll give these simps an encore! Yayasu, everyone, we'll handle this! You go on ahead! We're the Idol Duo! Princess Yayakura! And we're always on the winning side! They identified the Shogunate as losers and switched sides at the speed of light. I'd expect nothing less of them. So! Don't forget about me! That sharp sky splitting surf. Akuma! You're here too? Hm. Don't get the wrong idea. I can't let you lose to anyone or anything, except to me. Got it? <laughs> That's my line, isn't it? I'll cut you down as many times as you want. When did the two of you become such steadfast friends? Business has been pretty tough with all these nasty demons around. We'll lend you folks a hand. Even the Hot Springs Magistrate is here! Wait, does that mean Crispy Dark is here too? Fuji, I declare a ceasefire. I, the Great Crimson Dark, will offer my help this time and only Black! Come on out! Can't ambush us now! Damn you, Crimson Dark! How dare you defend the rebels! You're always like this. It's the resale magistrate, Ten Buyer. I won't let you maggots get in the way of Mugai's aspirations! You hear me? You know you won't win against us. Why are you taking Mugai's side? Wait! Don't say a word! Mugai saved you from being a freak show attraction, didn't he? After that, he acknowledged you as a warrior. Thus, it was the first time you felt empathy's embrace! Not again, Pirico. You can't keep blurting out delusions like they're the truth! No, she hit the nail on the head. She what? 
Lord Mugai did rescue me from becoming a spectacle and said I had the heart of a warrior. His words were so kind. That's why I'll perform despicable deeds and even drag every single netherworld into chaos. I'll do anything for him. You dumbass! This is Mugai we're talking about. He's just using you. But what he did for Ten Buyer sounds just like the old Mugai. Ten Buyer, are you really sure you want to help Mugai with his plans? What do you mean by that? The feelings you just expressed. Wouldn't you consider it empathy that spurs you to repay his kindness? If Mugai gets his way and eradicates all empathy, your feelings won't exist anymore. Well, I... Enough talk! I'm only here to execute Lord Mugai's orders! persuaded Celestia to give us permission to make our triumphant return! <laughs> mm, justice! Thanks to the key testimony of a certain Shirofune, we were able to get our message across super easily, Mia. A certain Shirofune? We brought a platoon of soldiers from Celestia to act as reinforcements. Leave everything to us! Nitra! I'm so glad to see you! The Archangel didn't punish you, did she? I avoided punishment by promising to bring back limited Hinomoto superhero merchandise. I'll also have to atone through good deeds. My first task is to stop Mugai's ambitions. Now that I'm an angel again, I must fight evil for love, justice, and friendship! All these angels showing up is making my allergies flare up! We incapacitated Kurofune and the Shirofunes! They're now in our custody! You guys go on ahead and yell! <sighs> the execution draws near, but a gaggle of meddlesome idiots have shown up. Though we could always accelerate the timetable, what should I do? Father! Thank goodness you're all right! Stop, Perico! Something's off. <laughs> this disguise was good enough to even fool his own flesh and blood up till now. That's right, it's me, Jodo! No, not again! Father! Fuji, Perilica, look at Opener's arm. He's wearing a gauntlet similar to the demonic fist that Mugai took the form of. Perhaps it has something to do with that. Yeah, I've definitely seen that gauntlet before. It's teeming with spiteful souls. How very sharp of you. That's right. This gauntlet is my true form. I'm a living infernal treasure as well. As a reward for guessing correctly, I'll put an end to the man you're all trying so desperately to rescue. So why'd you make a scene out of telling us your true form? If you're just doing what Mugai would do, you're only copying him. <laughs> Being compared to the great Lord Mugai is the highest of honors for me. I will buy time until his ambitions are realized when Opener is executed. You seem pretty confident we won't smash you to pieces and save Opener before then. I'm possessing Opener right now. Will you truly use your full strength against me? You kind souls aren't capable of that. You're wrong! My father will be fine! My demonic bow will be able to heal him as long as he's less than 66.6% .6 dead. What? 
How can you call that fine? He's your father! Ha! Our attitudes rubbed off on Pirico. Sorry, Opener, but we'll do our worst! Uh, you really didn't hold back. My apologies, Lord Mugai. Please forgive me for failing miserably when I still haven't repaid my debt to you. Why do you idolize Mugai so much? I was one of the countless prototypes born out of his attempts to create the demonic fist. But... I happened to gain sentience when I was made. My circumstances were unique, and Lord Mugai treated me as a living creature rather than a tool. That made me very happy. It's often said that all objects have a soul. No one actually treats them like living beings. You're just like Al! So why did you say such horrible things to Al? Even though you have similar origins! You should know exactly how she feels! <laughs> I hate to admit it, but I was jealous. Lord Mugai loved her as a blood relative. He never treated me that way. I wanted to be loved too, just as Al was. Everything I did was in pursuit of that goal. Nothing more. Joe Doe? I thought you were just a creep, but I guess you had your reasons too. Al understands how you feel. I love my dad a lot too. May we forgive Joe Doe? As a living infernal treasure myself, I can't help but empathize. Ugh, you morons. <sighs> no regretting this later, got it? You'll forgive me? Thank you so much. You're all really, truly... A gaggle of idiots! Come forth, Deathfune Squad! What the? A bunch of Shirofunes just appeared! This is the Deathfune Squad, the Shogunate's most sinister executioners. You can't stop all of these lethally enhanced Shirofunes! Now then, let the execution commence! Begin broadcasting to the whole universe! We'll do away with Opener, body and all! What's going on? I gave you an order! Execute Opener now! Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Wh what did you say? See again? Is that you? Yeah. It's been a while, kid. I went ahead and deactivated all of the death food. Again? But Cannon Line made you disappear! Without a trace! How did you come back from that? She used a transportation device to warm me away and make it seem like I died. I've been working undercover ever since. I can't believe my mother went to such lengths! Thank you, Mother. Wait... So the informant Sugar was talking about earlier... Yep, that's me. I'll protect Opener and take care of Joe Doe. I'm counting on you to deal with Master Mugai. Uh, my apologies, Lord Mugai. I cannot live up to your expectations. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. We've crushed all your plans. You've got nowhere to run now, Mugai. Nowhere to run? Don't make me laugh. The stream is still broadcasting. I'll trample all of you on camera to show the netherworlds just how weak compassion is. You won't succeed. 
We'll stop your inhumane ambitions before anyone else falls victim to your schemes! What makes you any different, Whelp? Haven't you also overwhelmed others with your own beliefs? Using people as stepping stones for our own ambitions is something we have in common. Quit acting like you know anything about Perico! You're nothing alike! It's okay, Fuji. I have never, ever viewed anyone as a stepping stone! I carry the hopes of my mother and all who fell in battle against you on my shoulders! Do you understand the consequences of your words? I know many who were crushed under the weight of the hopes they bore. Of course I do! Perhaps you're right. Life might be easier if we cast compassion aside. It may be simpler to lie about your feelings and not worry about others. But you only really live if you're true to yourself! You'll laugh, fight, fall in love, and cry when you lose someone dear. I have to live life to the fullest for those I've lost! I'll always wear my heart on my sleeve. I'll carry fallen hopes on my shoulders. That's my chosen path, the way of Perilica! <laughs> She's got her own code of honor now? Always quick to rebrand everything. Still, she has a whole group of friends walking down that foolish path with her. Who else but Perilica would trust me? Even when I was getting ready to stab her in the back. Yeah, even when it's obvious someone's lying to her, she always gives them the benefit of the doubt and forgives them. Conviction is what makes you, you. Perilica's words saved me when I was lost. Grandpa, I really changed Al too. I'm not alone anymore. Ow. Oh. Mugai, I know it was easy to lose your faith and compassion after losing your wife and being defeated by Opener. But a compassionless person can't connect with others. Where is your path leading? Who's by your side? We used to be friends. Disciples under the same master. Brace yourself, Mugai. I'll stop you this time. Once and for all! You're a damn fool, Hegan. Don't speak to me like we're family. I despise that bond you fools have forged. I never loathed anything more. I'll do whatever I can to crush it. That's rich. You don't want empathy to hold you back, but you're the one that seems the most tied down by it. I'll cut through your pathetic ambition! All right, everyone. Let's do our worst! We managed to defeat him, but it's not over yet, is it? Hmm. Obviously not. You think that was enough to keep me down? Of course he came back to life! Whether he comes back a hundred times or ten thousand times, we'll just keep killing him again! Unlike Hegon, our energy is limited. We'll run out of strength before he runs out of lives. Guys, souls haven't diminished at all. This could get ugly quick. We can't give up. I'm sure we'll figure out a way to defeat him. You know what they say when mush comes from love. You mean when push comes to shove? Ugh, keep your mush out of this. Mush and love? Okay, got it. What are you doing, Al? You can't fight right now. Just stay back! Take this! Al's latching onto Mugai! Al! 
You're too weak to fight! What are you? Wait! Something's not right! What are you doing? Ah! Oh, what's happening? That looks like it's actually hurting him! A bunch of souls are leaving me boss body. What are you talking about? What's going on, C4? I don't understand how it works, but I was drawing souls from you guys' body, taking them in. <laughs> You're glad Grandpa taught me how to control souls. Ow! Don't be so reckless! Get back here! How are you doing this, Al? Because of love! Dad and everyone else! <laughs> wow! You're incredible, Ow! Mugai doesn't have any souls left! He's completely empty! Mugai! This time I'll cut you down for good! How dare you get in my way, Ow! I'll take you out first! In your damn dreams! <laughs> Mugai's coughing up blood? <sighs> Never mind that. I have to end it here. We're in the depths of the Infernal Sanctuary. Where's Mugai? So you can all hear it. That's what awaits all who embrace compassion. What do you mean by that? What are all these souls? After Opener defeated me, I was drawn to this place. That's when I learned that empathy brings tragedy. Souls roam endlessly here, clinging to worldly regrets. They are unable to move on to Celestia. Endlessly? So... My master. My pupils. They were confined to this domain after suffering despair wrought by compassion. No matter how strong I become, I cannot release them from this torment. That's why I sought to erase all empathy. If I create a world where demons behave as they should, they won't fall to this fate! Look! Something's happening to him! Love! Compassion! Friendship! They're all unnecessary! Demons don't need any of that! I'll prove it here! Feast your eyes on my true, soul-infused form! Super Deity Mugai! You're wide open! <laughs> That's Fuji for you! He went ahead and cut his dad down in the middle of the guy's monologue! Damn you! Why are you mad? All I did was interrupt you. I'm just being the evil demon you want me to be. Compassion this, real demon behavior that. You've got no right to make decisions for other people. We can find our own paths without you butting in. Don't force your screwed up ideas on us. Huh, that's right, Fuji. Being forced to live a certain way is the biggest tragedy of all. I 
and he got the Shosai, the eternal legend. Emotions, Bushido, and the demon way mean nothing to me. That's my truth. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with demons that aren't demonic and angels that aren't angelic. It's okay to live how we want. I may be a stupid, perverted coward, but I don't have to hide the real me. All I can do is live my life my own way. Agreed. I believe in my own path as well. I may be an infernal treasure and don't look like I used to, but I'm still me. I love my dad! How will do anything to make him happy? Father said that Bushido is about helping others. That's what true warriors do. And that's what I love about Hinamoto. Love, pain, friendship, and suffering. All of that belongs to us. We won't let you and your selfishness take that away. It doesn't matter if we're demons, angels, or warriors. We'll do our worst our way. I won't accept it. I won't. I won't! This world needs cruelty. Heartlessness. Nothing more! Is he trying to resurrect himself again? He has to be at his limit already. How stubborn can he be? Maybe it's not possible to defeat him here. After all, this place is filled with souls. Perilica, he's targeting you! Get out of the way! It's okay. You stupid girl! I'll eliminate you from Hinomoto if it's the last thing I do! Mogai, you wish to release all these wandering souls from the sanctuary, don't you? I can't help you eliminate compassion, but I'd love to help you save their souls. Huh? huh? How preposterous! I killed your mother! You must despise me! I know you do! Don't try to hide it! I do harbor hatred for you, but I respect you, and your love for Hinamoto, too! That's stronger than my hate! I know if you had people who understood you, it'd never have come to this. Please, can we take the right path together now? Puyo! Stop! Stop it! Don't look at me like that! Perilica! Give up, Mugai. You've already lost. <laughs> Not to our strength, but to Perilica's conviction. But you can rest in peace, because I'll cut down any regrets you have. I can hear a voice. Could it be? Father? I heard it too. I think even the soul in my demonic staff is cheering us on. All of the souls are crying out. They're telling us to combine our feelings, Fuji. Fuji, save your father. Looks like my mom's soul was the one inside Kanzan Musashi. That must be why I connected with it instantly. What's going on? Why are the wandering souls gathering in the demonic sword? This is how strong emotions can be! Now, Fuji! Pour everyone's feelings into your demonic sword! <laughs> you got it! I'll cut down this stupid place! The soul 
wolves are escaping through the rift the demonic sword created. Good job, Fuji! You've saved a bunch of souls, and Mukai won't be able to come back again. It's hard to believe you cut a rift in space itself. This must be Kanzan Musashi's true power. No, I think it's because of the wandering souls. They lent their hopes to Fuji so he could use their strength. So, this is it for me. That was a good move, Fuji. Congratulations on killing your own father. It goes to show my ideals weren't wrong. <sighs> you idiot. Just die already! Talk! <laughs> what? You just cut down your arch nemesis. Why is your curse activating? Don't you understand, Mugai? Fuji didn't use murder's intent to power the sword. He used compassion for his father. He only wanted to stop your rampage. That strike was his way of caring for you. The ultimate act of filial piety. <sighs> Cut that crap out. No one wants to hear your freaking delusions. You don't have to be embarrassed. Your suffering now is proof you care. Sh shut up! More importantly, we need to tend to you quickly. Stay still while I treat you. You still choose empathy. Even though you're suffering from my empathy killer curse. That is stupidity at its finest. Doesn't that remind you of when Fuyo was around? She and Perilica are awfully similar, aren't they? Vexingly so. How ironic that people who clung on to a path I abandoned thwarted my ambitions. I suppose this is how it ends. Instead of throwing it all away, I'll live with the burden. I lost to your strength. Ow, oh, come over here. I'll release the souls in your body and ease the pain. Wow. I'll feel so light now. Thanks, Grandpa. In a faraway netherworld, there's an art that permits demons to become weapons and regain their original forms afterward. I drew from that. So if you learn it, uh, perhaps Ao and the other infernal treasures might... Uh... Grandpa? <coughs> Mogai's vomiting blood too? Uh, I'll use my demonic bow! No, Perilica. His soul is too far gone to be saved. Mugai, you used the Empathy Killer curse on yourself, didn't you? You knew that you could only save Ao at the cost of your life. No! Grandpa, don't die! Ao doesn't want you to die, Grandpa! I won't thank you. It's not nearly enough to make up for all the evil you did. <laughs> Don't consider it an attempt at redemption. Shogun Yeyasu, you must denounce my deeds. Change Hinomoto for me. I was gonna do that anyway! I'll make the Netherworlds a way better place than they were under your rule. Party Yasu and I will support you. We'll restore the reputation of the Hinomoto Netherworlds together. Celestia will help out too. We have to turn the infernal treasures back to their original forms. <laughs> I worked so hard, and still compassion survives. How irritating. I finally understand, Mugai. 
You cursed yourself because you couldn't get rid of your empathy either, huh? Who can say? The defeated must exit graciously. There's no need for further explanation. Farewell, my hated and beloved world. May Hinomoto's warriors be honored eternally. Of course he couldn't leave without acting cool. A self-righteous bastard to the very end. Even though you never managed to get rid of your empathy, we'll carry your burden for you. Rest in peace, Father. That's watching! Tell your friends, too! This is for all citizens of Hinomoto! The long era of chaos is over! A new age begins now! And so, their long battle at last came to an end. Fuji, Ao, Perilika, Yeyasu, C4, Higon and Suisen etched their names in history as the Seven Warriors of Hinomoto. I did the hard part by keeping watch from the nether ship, orchestrating the groundwork, and handling damage control. Pichon had his fair share of complaints. Fuji, thank you so, so much for everything. <laughs> that fulfills our contract. I'm pretty glad I don't have to see your face anymore. Perilica paid Fuji his 100 million hell, as stipulated by his contract, and returned to her hometown. 
and not long after. Ah, thanks for coming to Edo Castle for the grand reopening party. I'm really touched. We are especially thankful to you, C4. We know you must be busy as a celestial ambassador. Of course I'd take time off to see all of you. Celestia Hinamoto relations are at an all-time high. The castle's nice and sparkly. It'll make a great target for when they come crashing out of the sky. Right, Dad? No using it as target practice. I'm serious, Al. I can't handle any more debt. <laughs> are you for real, Fuji? How can you still be in debt? Probability of Fuji not being able to keep up with Ao's growing destruction bill and Higon's food costs? 98%. Ao's my daughter, so it's whatever. But stop making me foot the bill, Master! You're the one that should be paying for mine! Are you telling me to get a job? That's not happening. I'll eat a whole week's worth of food at the party, so cut me some slack. Oh? Egon? Please go easy on me! But you know what? It really does feel lonely without Perlica around. Yeah. Fuji, aren't you itching to get back to the nether ship too? Shit, no! <sighs> I mean... Maybe if I get paid, I might consider it. of a certain someone making an entrance on a battleship like that? 100%. Huh. <laughs> What's the saying again? Uh, speak of the devil or something? Sorry! I was so excited about my new ship that I mixed up the gas and brake pedals. P Perico? What are you doing here? Long time no see, Fuji. I'm here with a business proposal! You see, I founded the Nether Time Support Force. It's an organization that helps those in need. The first place we're rescuing is Hinamoto! We raced over here to help those who've been turned into infernal treasures! Hold up. You're not going to ask for my help, are you? Of course I am! <laughs> Together we're of nature! Ah, <sighs> not again. You mean we're like thunder and lightning. <sighs> you never change, Perlika. I'm not going to help you out of charity, kindness, or the goodness of my heart. I work for money. <laughs> I know. That's why I'll only have you take on requests made by me for me. <laughs> Sounds like I can earn a killing from that. I'll fulfill any request you got. All right. Looks like I've got a new job. Time to do my worst! Several months after the battle against Mugai, the Nether Time support force is doing well under Perilica's direction. <sighs> I'm completely stuffed. 
Nothing beats Selma after a hard day's work. <laughs> Let's eat it tomorrow, too. Soba, soba, udon, soba, udon. How do you not get sick of eating the same thing every day? Udo's restoration is chugging along. And its old vigor is back again. I even bought some cursed doll cakes recently. Ah, Udo's famous traditional cursed doll cakes. Wait, you have over 100 boxes on you. I'm the undefeatable Higan Zeshosai. A mere hundred boxes is barely a snack. Wasting your money again, huh, Master Moron? <laughs> I guess you could just build a Shogun. He's sponsoring the Nethertime support force. Heck, I'm monitoring the Nethertime support force to prevent wasteful spending. At least try to restrain yourselves. There you go again. We know you just want to be around us. Probability you prefer the comfort of the Nethertime support force to being the Shogun, 100%. Uh, I can't deny that. I've been so busy since we defeated Mugai. I want to go on adventures with you guys, too. Just cheer up. Father was only able to return to the United Netherworlds because of you. The United Netherworlds protects all Netherworlds. I'm confident they can restore those who become infernal treasures. But the United Netherworlds people still have their suspicions about us and Opener. It'll take time to gain their trust. I'm sure they'll come around as long as we continue our work in the Nethertime Support Force. Do one good deed and slay. It's do one good deed a day. You gotta improve your language skills first. By the way, have you guys seen Al? <sighs> She should be back from her Grimjufu restoration by now. Now that you point it out, she is late. How did cause a lot of damage to Grimjufu? Perhaps it requires more effort to fix? Hmm? The news reported this morning that Grimjufu's restoration had been completed. What? If that's true, then why hasn't Al come home? She lost? Or maybe she's been kidnapped! Kidnapped? Hey, he's vomiting blood again! Oh, how, how could my little girl be kidnapped? I'll never forgive. I'll never forgive! He's coughed up blood before, but I've never seen him look this worried. He's become such a doting father that he doesn't even need words to activate the curse. This isn't a laughing matter! His empathy could be fatal! Please, go and look for out. <laughs> look for her right now! <laughs> of course we will. Nethership, prepare for liftoff! <laughs> 